Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, this is going to be a life-changing video for you. Right before the client goes to sign the paperwork, they're going to try to bail out, right? And they say, ah, you know what, Andy? I need to think about it. I am going to show you how to bring them back to the deal and close them down. Check it out. All right, guys, so check this out. This is really important, okay? And I wrote this up here. I need to think about it. I put on the pencil, okay? We talked about I need to think about it on the lot, right, right before we're going inside. I've taught you guys what to say, how to get them inside. This is going to be, we're inside and we're on the pencil. The pencil is the four square, it's the worksheet, it's whatever they call it in your store. It's where we're going over the numbers. When we're going over the numbers, there's gonna be a price on the piece of paper. There's going to be a trade-in if there is one on the piece of paper. And then obviously there's going to be a monthly payment. Does that make sense? So I'm sitting here with you and I'm like, hey, great news, Andy. I got a way to go, bop, bop, bop. I'm going over all my numbers and I'm talking. And guess what happens? The old smooth customer wants to say, I need to think about it, Andy, okay? By the way, I'm gonna do a video and I'm gonna show you how we can do, I need to get back with you or it's getting late. Lots of different ways. This is gonna be a specific one when someone says, I need to think about it. Now listen to me, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to grab a pen and a piece of paper and I'm actually gonna teach you this word track. And I want you to understand something. So grab a pen, grab a piece of paper. I want you to understand something that I need to think about it is a stall. Okay, it's not real. They don't really have to go home and think. You've showed them the numbers. Now they're wanting to stall. Your goal right now is to surface, write this down, surface the real objection. Okay, that's it. That's all your job is. And I'm going to give you the word track to surface it every single time. If you'll do what I say and you'll say it just right, it'll work perfect. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. So, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, great news. Here's all the numbers. I'm going over everything with you, man, guys. Let's rock and roll. Here we go. And we're talking back and forth, and like, hey, Andy, you know what, man? We, we need to think about it. We're, we're going to get back with you. Hey, number one, I totally understand. I want you to write that down. I totally understand. Listen, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, I've been doing this for a very long time. I want you to say that. I've been doing this for a very long time. It's your first week. Don't say it, okay? But I'm just saying, me, I'm just like, hey, I've been doing this for a very long time. And what I've learned is when somebody says they need to think about it, what I've learned is that it's either one of two things, okay? Number one, you're no longer interested in the vehicle but I definitely know that's not it because we wouldn't have made it this far if you wouldn't have liked the car. So it leads me to believe that it has to be number two. And number two would be that something's concerning you within the numbers of the deal. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, what is it that's concerning you the most? Is it the price, the payment, or the trade-in? Which one? Which one is it? And be quiet. And they're gonna say, well, it's the payment. And you can say, hey, I totally understand. Let me show you how affordable your new vehicle is. Flip the paper over, go straight into a payment close. If they say, ah, Andy, it's the trade-in. I say, hey, I totally understand. Let me show you how we've arrived at the top value for the trade-in. Turn it over, flip over the paper, and close the deal. And if they say, ah, I don't know, Andy, it's the price. You can say, hey, and then you go right into your price objection, which I, like, I've taught you guys. But what are they doing now? They're telling us what they needed to think about. Clearly, there's something unresolved or there's a feeling that they have in their stomach that is unsettled. Okay, write this down. This is important. We're going to go through this close one more time. But you got to understand this. People buy when two things happen. Number one, logically what you say makes sense. That's when they'll do it. Or number two, which is a great one, is people have the gut feeling that you're the person they need to be doing business with or your company is the place they need to be doing business with. So what do we want to do? Number one, we want to keep the flow state good with you and the client. No hiccups. Okay, nice and smooth. Number two, we want to make sure that we surface the real objection. How to find the real objection. I need to think about it. Don't be an idiot and say this. They say, Andy, we need to think about it. And you say, well, what do you need to think about? I'm sure you noticed, like with a crab, right? If you 
see a crab and it's in a shell. When you go to try to grab it, what does it do? It goes back in its shell. Am I right? And then when you get away from it, it comes out. And then when you get close, it goes back in. This is what a client does when you challenge well, what do you need to think about? Let me give you an example of what an amateur does. An amateur, a customer goes, oh, Andy, I need to think about it. And then guess what happens? They say, oh, well, what do you need to think about? And then guess what happens? The client's like, I don't know. I just need to think about it. And they say, well, what do you need to think about? Guess what? Crab goes back in its shell. Okay? You don't want it to go, go back in its shell. You want it to stay out. You want to have a conversation with it. Are you ready to see how this is done? Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I'm going over all the numbers, and they say, I need to think about it. And you say, number one, I totally understand. Listen, I've been doing this for a long time, and when somebody says they need to think about it, what I've learned is that it's either one or two things. Number one, you're no longer interested in the vehicle, but I definitely know that's not it because we wouldn't have made it this far if you didn't love the car. So it leads me to believe that it has to be number two, that something's concerning you within the numbers of the deal. What is it that's concerning you the most? Is it the price, the payment, or the trade-in, Mr. and Mrs. Customer? Which one's concerning you the most? Which one? Payment, I totally understand. Let me show you how affordable your new vehicle is. This is your old car right now, this is your new one. Boom, I go right into a freaking payment close. Okay, you guys get me? Are we back in business now? Are we doing the deal now? Yeah, we are. Who's back in control? By the way, who kept the pressure out of the deal? You did. Who's kept it fun? Who's kept the deal advancing forward? You did. Good job. Okay, because amateurs can't do that. Can I ask you a question? Did I go get my manager? Did I run off and go, Mr. Manager, I need help, and run out of the office? No. Hey, write down something for me real quick since we're teaching today, okay? Every time you leave your customer and you leave the office, you know what the customer does? Talk crap on you. Have a chance to reset, okay? Your goal is to stay in front of them until you can close them. And every time you walk out, do you think they're like, oh my gosh, I hope he doesn't come back in here and ask us for more money, but if he does, maybe we should do it. No, they're not saying that. They're like, what do you think, babe? This is more money than we talked about paying. I don't know, what do you think? And they start falling apart. That's the reason why the dealership pays you so much money is so you can stay in there and help work it out with these people, okay? So please understand this. As I'm trying to teach you guys to close, I'm trying to teach you to be a professional and stay in there and actually defend the pencil and earn your money, take good care of the customer, right? And do a good job, right? Guys, if you can do what I just taught you to do, you'll make a lot of money and not make these amateur moves like everyone else. Trust me, if you follow me, if you trust me, if you believe in me, if you study my content, you will become the best. So guys, at this point right now, I've hoped to give you some value. I know you've given me some of your time and, I, and I'm grateful for it. I can't say thank you enough. Also, I wanna tell you that I'm positive, I'm absolutely 100% positive that there's a better version of you inside of you and there's a person inside of you that you haven't met yet. I've created a, a program called Project 500 that teaches sales pros how to make a half a million a year. If you're not training currently on Project 500, then I know that you're not getting paid what you're worth and also you don't know everything that I know and that's my goal to teach it to you so you can be the best in the world and go get your best life. I have a life right now that I never thought I could have. I kept training and studying and I learned that the only way to wealth was through self-education. If you'd like information on my Project 500 training, text me, it's so cheap you can wipe your butt with it. Shoot me a text, 918-210-0254. I mean, give it to you again, text me. 918-210-0254. Say, hey Andy, my name's Sarah. You know, tell me about yourself. I've been selling for three years. I've just started selling, whatever it is, okay? Just say, I'm ready to go to the next level and I wanna be the best in the industry, the top 1%. Give me some information on Project 500. I can't wait to personally talk to you. I love you guys, I got your back for life. We will always be together. Let's kill it and crush it. Let's go. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.